just going to show you how I'm doing this. I measured from this flange, the motor, up to the uh, center of the tooth, which was 21 millimeter or 13 sixteenths, right? I've taken the motor plate off and I placed it on a piece of carbon. Pick, made it equal so it's exactly the same thing. Punching holes through the lug nuts so I know where they are. Circle around here for the center mode but not cutting it out. Now I'm going to take a straight line and run from corner to corner and this way again. There we go. And that's the center. Now I got the center of the shaft here and I can use the carver template to work out where I'm going to put this on my motorbike. Now I'm going to uh, punch a hole in the center here for a string. And as you can see here, this is my shaft and I've um, calculated with the motor my weight plus some, another half an inch for batteries. I'm going to be, the compression of the spring with all the weight is going to come down to here. So this is actually where my center of my shaft will be with all the weight on it. This is really important because if you put the center of, of it all, the shaft running up through the swing arm here, when the shaft comes up the chain will change and get, get loose. So this is with the weight of the belt motor myself and a half inch extra for batteries. I made a hole here. I'm going to put this string through it, string it up through this shaft and try to line my cardboard center hole up with it. So now I've uh, ground off the piece up here so the cardboard just comes up a little. And if I put it right opposite this pivotal point on the swing arm, right, the two inches off my shaft to allow for the, the um, shock absorbers to uh, go down a little because of the weight. Batteries and motor and myself. You must, don't forget your own weight. Through the pivot point, get a nice straight line and go parallel and have a look and get the center of the shaft. Now you have your motor in line. All you have to do is mark the position it's going to be in and you're set to go. Now I've aligned it there are two holes here from the old motor which I'm going to poke out so I know where they are and I can drill my plate and actually be able to bolt on on these two bolts. This is only aligning it from the center shaft this way. Now I must align it uh, this side in and out to get the chain exactly in the position I want. That will be my next part is to work out how far back the uh, 13 16th or 21 millimeter back to the center of the chain which is going to run along here which I need to mark and put strings on. I'm a little lucky that on my plate on my old motorbike the mounts for the uh, motor heater for the old motor so I'm using those holes for my template and I will drill them into the steel plate so I can actually bolt it on inside here wherever I have to go back make spacers and weld it. Pretty simple, straightforward but you know it takes time. I'm just sticking the bolts through these pilot holes I made into the plate. The plate's on the back now. See I'm pushing them through. On through the cardboard and there you can see my mounting holes for my plate on the side of the engine. So I have the screw two uh, exact holes punch and drill them. Uh, there is the uh, felt pin marks. Now you can lay it down on a block of wood. Always use leather gloves when doing work. You can save your finger from a bad, bad injury. Now what we can do is take, you should take a center punch always when you're drilling. Doesn't matter, you can always take a center punch. We're going to find the center of this. And Make a start point for the drill, right? Don't be lazy. There, I got two.
two start points. You always start, you do not go and drill. I see many people drilling with a large drill first. You do not do that because the drill cannot center itself. Large drills, can't. you always use a pilot hole first, small drill. So you take your small drill, in she goes. And we're going to drill two pilot holes here. I drill a little blunt. That's one. I'll do the second one off camera. You uh, put in your larger drill, slow the drill down, always fast with small, large, slow. Right? And then you just stick her in the pilot hole, hold your plate. If your drill gets too hot, put some oil on it. It's a really good idea. I have a sharper drill here, I think. So I'm going to switch to this drill and see if it's sharper, if it goes in the chuck. I have a little bit of skipping on all this. See if this one's a little sharper. Much sharper. You gotta watch those catches. That's the danger in drilling. Right? There we go. Did you get a larger drill and countersink, which I don't think I have. So there's the two holes for the mount. Now we're set to put her on. Okay, I've taken the string and put it around the back of the the uh, sprocket. Pulling it forward and getting it in line, I have a wheel wedged with the pipe in the back so it can't move. Now I can get this nice in line by pulling hard on these two strings and seeing exactly where the chain is going to run. If you go this way, the string's out of line, and the second one inside goes out of line. So exactly where it's going to run. Pull hard, get them touching the sprocket, and it's going to be right there. Center. Center. Okay, now I must bring this up and off to clear everything underneath. And then likewise, I must make sure that the chain down here comes at the right point so it clears and doesn't hit any metal. I'm going to do a center line, and then I'm going to do the two outsides. And I'll also put the chain on to have a look. If, and we're about ready to grind this here. If I grind this little plate off a little bit, and this off down here a little bit, I'll be nearly central. I can put the plate actually mounted on this side. I'm just going to take my grinder and grind that a little. I'm about a millimeter out. For um, Lining purposes, I put these a bolt here and a bolt here in, and now I can put my motor in and check if it's in line, and put a chain on and have a look at it. And you know, if I wanted to, I could put another bolt straight through here. You know, drill after the plates in because it might be a little bit up and down. You drill up maybe a bolt or two in here afterwards to make sure it can't move. I may have to strengthen the outside here somehow with a bracket out here because it's got a little bit of a bend and a bracket down here welded on. Here you can see now I've actually got the motor on. Right? This will line up with my sprocket. This is lining up with the point and the point in the back where the uh, with the weight down. I have a sprocket here and the key, little key I made up. Didn't come with the sprocket. In it goes. In goes the sprocket. I'll stick a chain on and see how it looks. Looking pretty in line. If I take these strings, pull them up beside it, it's really fairly straight. I've left it so I can come out a little with the cog if I want to, to straighten it up. In other words, don't bring the motor out too far that you're up against the collar. You can always bring it out and, and drill holes into the shaft 
to lock the cog in. So you can realign your chain a little bit. I'm a little bit too far back, I'd say I'd have to end up there in the end. Right? So it's further out than I expected, but it's looking really good. There you have it. Now I can also do, later on when it's all ready to go weld here, a spot, or bring a bracket out here, weld it on, now that it's in place. So as you can see, there's the chain. It's fairly in line, going back to the back wheel. Fairly good line. And here, in between the sprocket, there's a bushing, but I left a little bit of play there so I can pull this sprocket out to strengthen the chain, lengthen the chain. You know, if you get this motor too far out, you can't go back in with the bushing there. So I left a little bit of uh, space there so I had a chance to move the sprocket out if I had to, to get the chain in line. There's the motor mountings. I made a black felt pen mark here to cut it off, but I changed my mind. And I just took the corners off. I'm most likely going to... Uh, I need some extra links in the chain here. Uh, you know, I'm missing a bit of chain now because the motor's a little bit further out. I just have to reinforce it a little with the brackets. So I'm thinking of a bracket across the top here. And I'll show you later. And maybe even welding in here in the end. So the plate can't move. I'm most likely uh, test the motor. Uh, do a bench test on the bike with the motor and the batteries on the ground. And see if everything's running smoothly. That's for future video. To get it, about, to, get it to this stage with the mounts, the bolts on and the bolts through, you know, has taken me about... And lining it up is taking me about three hours. So, you know, you have to think it out carefully and find the easiest possible way and the best way to mount your plate and not rush it. Uh, I have looked at it the day before and put the motor out there and had a look and went away again. But within three hours, I have the plate on. My welding's all going to happen at once. I do want to put a cross structure here to, to re support the bike properly, not just flimsy stuff down here for the battery. The battery will come in here soon.